This video is sponsored by KiwiCo. The other day I had an epiphany. You can't spell cutting grass without A-S-S. G. Because when I went shopping for a new lawnmower, I found out California is banning gas-powered lawnmowers. Which I'd be fine with if the electric mowers were like robots or something, but they're just regular lawnmowers that cost $800. Like, I could buy a 20-watt laser that cuts right through wood for a fraction of the cost of a new lawnmower. Wait a second. Wait just one gosh damn second. Oh my god, that's actually cutting like butter! <laughs> it smells bad. This laser can cut grass better than an actual knife. So today, I'm gonna fix my lawnmower by replacing its 200-year-old gas engine and blades with electric motors and lasers. I've got this big black brushless electric motor. And I also bought a second 20-watt laser cutter. What the f so I used Onshape, a free browser-based CAD platform, to design a mounting plate to hold everything together. Then I laser cut the mounting plates and used them to bolt the two lasers to the brushless motor. Am I forgetting something? I feel like I'm oh. forgetting something. Oh, 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 right. The lasers need power, you moron. How are you gonna plug them in while they're spinning? Yeah. So I hired the world's smartest, most Canadian engineer. Think this is gonna work? Um and he told me to use tape to stick the batteries to the spinny part. I'm gonna turn the laser on, and then you mow the grass. Three, two, one. Oh, and just try and try and jump over it. Try and try and jump over it. At first I was scared that the laser was gonna cut our legs, but then I was disappointed that it didn't because for some reason now it's not even cutting grass. Is there something wrong with the laser? Uh, oh, it's I heard it. crackling. No, it's cutting. It just needs to be so much closer. The first problem is this lens that makes the laser beam really sharp up close, but too wide to cut anything further than an inch. But after I removed it, the laser got way better at turning pants into shorts. Oh yeah, that's this one would have obliterated us. The second problem is worse. Ah! Ah! I hate this so much. Balloon me! Yeah, we're gonna, oh, that didn't do anything. Balloon me again! Oh no! When the laser spins, it doesn't actually point at anything long enough to cut it. Oh, there we go! works like a thousand percent better when it's not spinning. So maybe instead of a spinning laser blade, I should try to make some kind of like a straight laser razor blade. Laser razor. Laser razor. Pew, 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 pew. It doesn't really make that sound. Pew, pew, pew. This is the Ankle Biter 3000, and it has two laser razor wires that are actually upgraded 30 watt lasers. These lasers are actually more expensive than a new lawnmower, but I'm, I'm in too deep now. These lasers are so powerful, they can cut weeds right in half. Yeah, there we go. But uh, they, they can also burn straight through the tin sheet metal that I put there to stop the beam <laughs> from shooting into space. It's starting to melt through the metal, Jesus. Here's the part where I tell you that these are dangerous lasers that can blind you instantly without special safety glasses. So don't do this unless you're me. Here's the test grass, and I, I think it's gonna be atomically level after the laser's done with it. Firing laser razor in three, two, one. Oh, that's, that's doing something. Come on, cut. Cut better. Why don't you cut better? I spent $800 on this. This sucks. These are two 30 watt lasers and they can still only cut one blade of grass at a time. So it like doesn't reach the middle. It's like trying to microwave a burrito. It gave the grass like a mohawk. I guess the laser is just not powerful enough, but it doesn't make sense. It can shoot through metal. I don't know why it wouldn't be able to cut through grass. So what if instead of more power, we tried using more lasers for more different directions? Huh? Please, no, what are you doing? I swear, I was just trying to make things visually interesting. No! Ah! Last year, I made this laser grid fly swatter that uses mirrors to bounce a laser beam into a grid pattern. And that didn't have any problems burning stuff in the center, but it won't cut grass because the grass gets in front of the mirrors and the beam can't bounce around anymore. So what if instead of using mirrors to bounce a single beam around, each of the beams just came from its own laser? Cause I just, I already bought thousands of dollars of lasers just to get this far in the video. I could just, I could just point them all into a grid shape now. So I want to thank KiwiCo for making this video possible. <gasps>
I really thought the laser razor was gonna work, so when it didn't, I was pretty bummed out. But then I got this package from KiwiCo, the sponsor of today's video, and that honestly cheered me right up. If you haven't already heard about KiwiCo, they've got a subscription that sends a monthly crate to your doorstep with projects that are great for kids of all ages, like 34. But seriously, you might have kids, or you probably know someone that has kids, and honestly, a KiwiCo subscription is probably one of the cooler gifts you could get them. Or if you want to just try a single project first, KiwiCo also offers individual crates that cover a huge range of interests and ages. Like, even literal babies can learn something from these. What I really like about KiwiCo, and like this crate in particular, is that I just built something I can actually use. Like, it's just so much more satisfying listening to music on headphones that I made myself. So if you want to make some cool stuff, or you know a kid who wants to make cool stuff, try out KiwiCo today. Just make sure you use the link in my description or code ALANPAN at checkout to get 50% off your first crate of a monthly subscription. It's actually a great deal, and using that link helps support this channel. And thank you again to KiwiCo for sponsoring this video. Something about the way my lawnmower caught on fire got me in the mood to disassemble it. Oh, yes! Then I laser cut this invisible piece of acrylic. Oh wait, no, here it is. To mount every single laser tube. Then I bolted the entire laser array to the bottom of the lawnmower and wired each laser to its own control circuit and battery. God, I hope I'm doing this right. So you think you're almost ready to test this, don't you, Alan? Well, guess what? You've got AstroTurf, dumbass! Well, that explains why I wasn't growing. So I called my friend Kevin, who's well known for his all-natural back door. I mean, backyard. I've been neglecting it just for you, Alan. I grew my grass out. And I told him I would cut his grass in the coolest way ever for a hundred bucks. 30 watts. Dude, you're gonna kill gophers with this thing, too. <laughs> I hope he doesn't notice that I forgot how to turn the lasers on. That one goes there. No, wait, 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 no, no. That one actually doesn't go there. This one, okay. This one, three, two, one. Oh! Dude! I can see it on this camera. It's, I smell something burning. Here we go. In the grid there. <laughs> oh, now I can really see the lasers. When you move it around, it's like a freaking rave in there. Jeez! The grid is so cool. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's like the, the traces that it's drawing into the wood is absolutely insane. Imagine that wood is grass. Well, you don't have to imagine it, because this is what it looks like when a small square plot of grass is directly underneath the lawnmower on straight, perfectly level rails. <laughs> See, this is what I was expecting. Look at that. Look at how perfectly straight that is. That is atomically flat grass cut in less than a minute. And that's exactly what I've promised to do to Kevin's front lawn. I'm just going for it. All right, boom, laser grid's on. Going for the grass. Stop it. Like you can actually hear the water like evaporating. I don't actually know. I can't tell if it's cutting the grass, but it looks and sounds completely insane. It actually was not cutting the grass. Do you think this is uh, slower or faster than a regular lawnmower? What do you think? Oh, it's, it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> the first problem is that the ground in the real world is not very flat. And if the lasers aren't moving on perfectly horizontal ground, they're not going to cut perfectly horizontally. Like, look at this one. It's got a bunch of like slices in it and then one finally got it. This grass is like burned in so many places. It's not very efficient. The second problem is a lot like the first one. The lawnmower itself pushes grass around when it moves, and the grass has to be perfectly still for this thing to work. So I'm trying to go slow. What if I just leave it here? Maybe if I just stand still for a second. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this one patch of grass. I swear to God. This is starting to get embarrassing. It's been 10 minutes. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> and the third problem is when you have the first two problems and you have a bunch of half burn, half cut grass just continually getting in the way of the lasers, a lot of the energy just goes into drying the grass out instead of cutting it. It's bizarre because it's still green, but it's like totally dehydrated. But Kevin was still holding out hope that I'd finish mowing his lawn. I think you definitely got this. Like look at this compared to this. Yeah, actually you can definitely see that difference. So the lawnmower is cutting something, but it's been an hour and we've mowed a square foot of grass, Kevin. So I moved over to the driest looking part of his lawn because it turns out the laser's really good at cutting brown grass. Can't buy one of these at Home Depot. No, you cannot. Finally, it feels like I'm really mowing the lawn and I was riding high on, on victory and grass fumes. But then something really bad and kind of obvious happened. 
happened. There's a lot of smoke. Oh! Alan, you caught the lot on fire. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll! Stop, drop, and roll! The laser lawnmower was actually kind of working before it caught on fire, but I guess the future just isn't quite here yet. And it turns out there's a channel called RC Test Flight that made a stationary laser lawnmower, and it looks like it has way less problems than my mobile one, so check out that video too. But if you need an electric lawnmower to replace your gas mower, maybe consider finding a cheaper corded version before you spend $3,000 trying to make one with lasers. Is it okay if I, um... You're fired. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs>